The summer of 2020 saw the launch of not one, not two, but three historic missions to Mars. China, America, and the United Arab Emirates all sent probes to the Red Planet in the hope of learning more about our celestial neighbor. In China, the country's space force launched an orbiter known as Tianwen-1, which tantalizingly translates to the quest for heavenly truth. China has also sent a rover to the Red Planet to roam its dusty surface and collect soil samples. According to Zhang Rongqiao, chief mission architect of the China National Space Agency, the CNSA, the goal is to explore and gather as much scientific data as possible. Meanwhile, in the Middle East, the UAE launched its own orbiter called the HOPE, intended to spend two years circling the Red Planet following a 200-day journey. NASA also launched its own Mars rover, Perseverance, designed to roam the Martian surface in search of signs of alien life, both past and present. The mission's main scanning instrument is mounted on the end of one of the robotic arms of the rover. The instrument, nicknamed Sherlock, emits a small ultraviolet laser at the ground, allowing scientists to measure the way in which the light scatters when it hits the surface in order to work out what kind of minerals and chemical compounds it is made from. This technique can also identify the unique spectral fingerprint that an organic alien material might emit. Remarkably, all three of these recent Mars missions have been successful, so far at least. But the odds have certainly been stacked against them. Since the USSR launched the very first probe to the Red Planet in 1960, almost 60% of Mars missions from around the world have succumbed to technical problems. Here, we take a look at just some of the Mars missions to have fallen victim to the so-called Martian curse. Mars 7 Lander and Orbiter When the Soviet Union began sending flyby orbiter and lander missions to Mars in the 1960s, almost all of them failed. One of the USSR's most spectacular failures was the Mars 7 Orbiter and Lander mission, which was launched in 1973. Mars 7 left our planet smoothly enough, but due to an unspecified computer chip error, the lander separated from the orbiter earlier than anticipated, and the two spacecraft were pushed off course and are now orbiting the Sun instead of Mars. Beagle 2 Lander there. Built in the UK, the Beagle 2 Lander was designed to search for signs of past life on the Red Planet. But it was lost for more than a decade after losing contact with Mission Control in 2003. The lander had successfully separated from the European Space Agency's Mars Express Orbiter, but the ESA and NASA lost touch with the lander during its descent to the Red Planet. Mission Control wasn't even sure if Beagle 2 had landed softly or if it had crashed. The lander's fate was finally revealed 11 years later, after NASA had trawled through enough photos of the Martian surface to find snapshots of Beagle 2's landing spot. It turned out Beagle 2 had indeed managed to land on Mars, but it had failed to deploy properly, rendering it unable to transmit information to Earth. Mars Polar Lander Launched in 1999, the Mars Polar Lander was lost even before it could land on the Red Planet. When a sensor on board the spacecraft triggered the shutdown of the lander's engines, the computer mistakenly thought the craft had landed on Mars. In fact, the Mars Polar Lander was actually about 40 meters above the Martian surface at the time, traveling at some 13 meters per second. NASA theorizes that if the engines had indeed shut off at the time, the craft would have accelerated to a velocity of around 22 meters per second on impact, which would have proved catastrophic for the delicate lander. Phobos Grunt Launched in 2011, Russia's Phobos Grunt spacecraft was bound for the mysterious Martian moon of Phobos, but it didn't get very far. The spacecraft was meant to scoop up samples of Phobos before returning to Earth. 
It was an ambitious mission that would have provided scientists with actual physical samples of the Martian moon for analysis. But as with many a Mars mission before it, Phobos Grunt was not to be. Louis Friedman, co-founder of the Planetary Society, said of Phobos Grunt, cheap parts, design shortcomings, and lack of pre-flight testing ensured that the spacecraft would never fulfill its goals. Its troubles became apparent a few hours after its launch when it failed to fire thrusters to take it out of Earth's orbit and on its way to Mars and its moon Phobos. Phobos Grunt remained stuck in Earth's orbit until 2012 when it eventually burned up in Earth's atmosphere. The Mysterious Fate of Phobos II Easily the most dramatic Mars mission failure occurred in 1989 during a Soviet effort to learn more about the previously mentioned Martian moon Phobos. The Phobos program consisted of two probes launched by the Soviet Union to study the Martian moons of Phobos and Deimos. Phobos II was launched on July 12, 1988 and arrived in Martian orbit in January of 1989. The mission was going smoothly up until the point that the satellite aligned itself with Phobos. On March 28, 1989, a mysterious elliptical object was detected moving towards the satellite just seconds before it failed. All indications were that the elliptical object had struck or collided with the Soviet satellite, which was now dead and left spinning wildly out of control. That same day, the official Soviet news agency stated, Phobos 2 failed to communicate with Earth as scheduled after completing an operation yesterday around the Martian moon Phobos. Scientists at Mission Control have been unable to establish stable radio contact. The following day, the Soviet space agency, Glav Cosmos, said Phobos 2 is 99% lost for good. Of particular interest in this case is an image captured above the Martian surface of what is now commonly referred to as the shadow, the cause of which has never been determined. But whatever cast the shadow, which was elliptical in shape and eerily reminiscent of a classic flying saucer, was of immense size. On March 31, 1989, the European news agency EFE stated, Phobos 2 captured strange photos of Mars before losing contact with his base. An official press release stated, in part, the space probe Phobos 2, which was orbiting above Mars when Soviet scientists lost contact with it on Monday, had photographed an unidentified object on the Martian surface seconds before losing contact. Scientists described the unidentified object as a thin ellipse, estimated to be up to 20 kilometers long. In the October 1989 issue of Nature magazine, Soviet scientists concluded that the Phobos II spacecraft was spinning, possibly because it was impacted by an unknown object. It was a genuine mystery, and one that ignited random speculation that Mars is indeed home to alien life not just of the microbial variety, and that the Martian inhabitants are keen to keep our own violent civilization at a safe distance. As outlandish as the theory of Martian civilization may sound, it has been given some possible implied support by none other than Apollo 11 legend Buzz Aldrin. During a live televised interview for C-SPAN in 2009, Aldrin discussed the importance of exploring Mars and, in particular, its unusual moon of Phobos. Aldrin remarked to his interviewer of Phobos, There is a monolith there, a very unusual structure on this little potato-shaped object that goes around Mars once every seven hours. When people find out about that, they are going to say, Who put that there? Aldrin then paused for a moment, seemingly catching himself going too far on live television. Who put that there, he continued, more cautiously now, well, the universe put it there. If you choose, God put it there. The monolith Aldrin was referring to was photographed by the Mars Global Surveyor in 1998 and has represented something of a mystery ever since. It's estimated to be some 85 meters across and some 90 meters tall, standing in stark contrast to its largely featureless surroundings. 
It is especially intriguing when compared to another unusual monolith on the surface of the red planet itself, which cuts a strikingly unnatural rectangular shape across the Martian landscape. So, will the Mars missions launched in 2020 meet with greater success than so many previous efforts? Or will unpredictable technical issues and perhaps more mysterious forces conspire to doom humanity's latest efforts to better understand one of the most fascinating planets in our solar system? Only time will tell. Just took 